Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new episode of that new toy smell. I'm your host Mitch Live and I collect action figures and today we are having a look at Superman by McFarlane Toys. Superman here is the fourth and final figure needed to complete this Build-A-Figure series to get the Merciless. It comes in the exact same packaging as the other three figures in this series. Uh, this box stands 11 inches tall at the back, including the flap, and just 10 inches tall uh, to the top of the box at the front. It's a little wider than the typical DC Multiverse packaging uh, because it's got the extra pieces, which of course are the pieces to build the Merciless. You can also see at the top, it's got some clear plastic, uh, allowing it to be illuminated so nicely. And we've got some more clear plastic on the side. It also says Superman. It shows you the DC Multiverse logo, the McFarlane Toys logo. And on the opposite side, we've got Superman the Infected. Okay, now it's telling us a little bit more about what Superman is. It's the Infected Superman. The back of the packaging shows you uh, some artwork that will be featured on this figure card. Because uh, each figure in the DC Multiverse toy line comes with a card, which you can kind of see right there in the back. It's just sort of a stats card for the figure. It gives you a little bit of a bio. And it shows you a cool picture. Uh, this cool picture, to be exact. It also tells me on the side here where this image is sourced from. And it says, Batman Superman number two. Batman slash Superman number two. I guess it's from a comic series called Batman slash Superman. Beside the artwork, it shows you a very crude diagram of how these things go together. It also very vaguely tells you which of the pieces that this guy came with. I'm happy to finally bust this guy open to see what all the hype is about. So let's get this over with. So here he is yucking it up outside of his box. We've got creepy, weird, laughing Superman guy. Uh, now, his position is that typical Superman floating position. But uh, he doesn't come with one of those cool stands that allows you to actually pose him as though he's flying. So this guy would clearly have to stand flat on the ground. So we're gonna straighten out his legs and see if we can get him to do that. Oh wait, I forgot. He's a DC Multiverse character and I said I was gonna stop torturing myself by seeing if they would stand because... because they don't. So I'm gonna go right to the nice little black DC branded stand that each of these figures come with because they know full on before they sold it to you that it wasn't gonna stand. And we'll put them on that stand just so we can continue this review. The DC Multiverse toy line is a seven inch toy line and this figure stands about six and three quarter inches. In terms of articulation, he has got the same 22 points of ultra articulation, which means his feet are ultra the ball joints in his ankles don't face the right way. He's got that 90 degree articulation in his toe, which you would never want or need or no human can possibly do. He's also got the weird torso movement, which, uh, sure. That's, I guess, in place of having, uh, of having his hips move. But, I mean, this is not where people bend. People, people twist their hips, not their, not their chest. Really not a fan of that style of articulation. But I mean, all the points that they claim are there, they're there. So besides the obvious creepy laughing face that he's got going on, his suit is more like a purple, it's an off blue, it's definitely not the classic Superman blue. His cape is a very soft, movable rubber, and it will only stay in this, uh, looks like it's being blown by the wind position. Which would be cool, you know, if he came with a stand that made him look like he was floating in the air or something, but he does not. In terms of likeness, I mean, he's definitely Superman with that creepy, laughing Superman face. So they nail the likeness. They nail the likeness more than they nail anything else with this figure line. He comes with an alternate pair of hands. Uh, they're just slightly different open positioned hands. I mean, it almost looks like they're opened to hold something, but he doesn't come with anything to hold. So I don't know. Looks like he's doing some weird voodoo magic-y stuff. Look, he, he's force choking somebody. And the card, which uh, they think that we care more about than the figure. And now finally, the moment we've all been waiting for. This is the fourth and final figure from this particular Build-A-Figure series by the DC Multiverse toy line. And the figure that we've been trying to build is the Merciless. So as I'm standing here holding this torso, a piece of it just fell right out. So this is, uh, this is where his uh, arm joints are gonna go in because 
Arms go here, duh. But, uh... They've got these little rings in here, which is supposed to add tension and mobility to the arms once you put them in, but they just they just fall right out. So don't lose those. Very careful not to lose those. Didn't know they came out. I'm gonna stick his arm in his armhole because I'm not an idiot, but oh, that's real tight. Oh my God, that is tight. Okay, got it to pop in. All right, we've got one arm in. We're on the way. Now, I had to push it flat against the ground and push really hard to get this arm in. And uh, I won't be able to do the same to the other side because then I'll be pushing on the arm. So I don't know how I'm gonna get his other arm in, but let's try. <laughs> Give her. Okay. Okay, it requires a little bit of pressure to get it in, but we got it. And now he's got arms. Now I'm gonna put his legs on. Oh, should I check the diagram again to figure out where his legs go? Cause I'm stupid. Okay, the legs do go on a little easier. Just takes a little bit of pressure and some turning back and forth. Uh, his feet are all cockeyed and not facing the right way uh, as per usual. Let's get that other leg on. Boom. Legs in. All right, now we got some shoulder blades and that is a, uh, that is a, Big looking ball joint for a very, very small socket. This is gonna take some wrestling. Some wrestling, okay, actually, you know what? This part's really soft and it went in no problem. Actually, the least amount of problems getting his shoulder blades on. Oh, that went in so easy. And yet stays very firmly. Okay, we're getting there. He's a tall dude, holy crap, he's tall. He's very much overshadowing the other figures, and he doesn't even have his head yet. So let's give him the head, that final piece. Oh, there we go. N no. I think there's absolutely no way that it's gonna stay. It pretty much just rests on his head. I mean, it's there, but if I go try to bend it again, it's gonna pop right off. Oh, yep, there it goes. Try pushing harder. I mean, whatever. His head is absolutely not attached, but it's gonna stay there. Oh wait, and his weapon. I forgot about his weapon. His weapon, oh, goes into his hand so easily. It's almost like, it's almost like this hand was meant to hold the accessory. Take notes, other figures from this exact toy line. But uh, the Merciless here, no problem holding his weapon. Definitely has problems keeping his head on, but uh, I mean, honestly, that doesn't matter. Whatever, as long as he stays upright, his head is gonna stay there. And here we have the Merciless. As I mentioned earlier, this is a seven inch toy line and this particular figure stands, well, to the tip of this little uh, uh, wing, ear, wing, helm thing. It's nine inches, he stands nine inches. If we're just talking about the top of his head, eight inches. So he is a tall guy, he's a big dude, he stands much taller than all the other figures. He wears all this, what looks to be shiny blue metal armor, and it is a combination of hard and soft plastic, but it actually does have a nice sheen metal look to it. Uh, he's got some rubber chains and a rubber belt here, very reminiscent of Spawn and the McFarlane Spawn figure. So here we have this entire Build-A-Figure collection, fully complete, uh, with two Batmans, a Robin, a Superman, and the Merciless. There will be links in the description below where you can purchase each one of these figures and build your own The Merciless. Thanks for hanging out with us on the Toy Shelf, and remember, you're never too old to play with toys.